Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Today I'm going to be making gluten-free protein bars. So here I've got two tablespoons of M seeds, half a cup of frozen berries, montanas, grounded cinnamon, honey, and here I've also got my homemade granola from seeds, from mixed seeds. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Everything is measured out and now I'm going to start. So in this container here before I didn't show you that I'm going to be adding some oats. So this is half a cup of gluten-free oats and I'm going to add that to the mix. So we have half a cup of gluten-free oats and some M seeds. Then we have two and a half cups of granola. Santanas, my frozen berries, cinnamon powder, I'm going to give this a generous amount, and for the honey, so that's one tablespoon of honey. And I'm not going to add anything any more to it because the granola is already sweetened. So I don't need to add anything else, any more sweetener to it. If you have got maple syrup, you can go ahead and use that. You don't have to use honey. Normally I just use um, dates, but because I already had the dates to the um, granola, so I decided that I'm just going to add the honey instead. I'm going to give this a mix around. You can put this into your food processor or a blender, but I'm going ahead and I'm just going to mix it. I make my protein bars because I'm gluten intolerant. If I'm teaching, so I normally make these bars because they're easy to make and you can just pop them in the fridge and they last forever. So basically what I'll do, I'll make like a batch of it on like on a weekend before I go to work. And then if I have a lesson, say for example, I'm teaching for two hours, I normally bring one with me and then, because if I have a lesson for two hours, we are only given 15 minutes break, which is not too bad. And then for that 15 minutes, I don't want to have to rush out of the classroom, go and get something to eat. So what I tend to do, I just have this in my bag and I'll have probably a fruit like a banana or an apple. And then I have my thermos with my tea and I'm good to go. That's why I normally make these. And then also I know that they are gluten free because all of the ingredients are gluten-free and it's packed with protein. So now we're just gonna transfer it into a tray. Okay, so this is perfect and I'm just gonna lay it with all of this goodness.
Now I'm just gonna put this in the oven to bake for roughly about 15 to 20 minutes. Sometimes I don't put it inside of the oven, sometimes I just put it in the freezer or in the fridge and leave it to cool and sit. I'm just going to leave it here to cool for 20 minutes and then I'm going to be cutting it into little squares and put them in the fridge. This is my healthy and delicious gluten-free granola protein bars. So yes, so these are the snacks that I tend to have. Thank you for watching. If you have a gluten intolerance, wheat allergy, celiac disease, or you are gluten-free by choice, or you simply just like my content, please subscribe to my channel for more gluten-free recipes and other information about gluten. Thank you for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day. Bye.